Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. I am Burn. this is my father Curtis. Today we're doing something a little special in honor of the Kentucky Derby, which is going to be coming up May 4th, is that right? May 4th, yes. All right, well, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what we're doing today. Well, we're going to try to make a mixed mint julep and a mint julep from the bottle from Old Forcers. We're gonna compare them and see how we like them. So I have got a classic recipe, and I do not mix drinks, so this might be kind of funny for our viewers. And I have the recipe uh, from the Kentucky Derby site that suggests how to mix the Old Foresters. Yeah, the Old Forester mint julep, actually. The mint julep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the reason why we're using Old Foresters is it was the bourbon that was used in the 1930s when they first started making this drink. And I like Old Foresters. I specifically like over here, the 1897. That guy right there. That guy right there. They're all three of those are really good, but that's the superior buy if you want to get one. Why don't you tell everyone what ingredients they're going to need to make these drinks? Okay, well, we need fresh mint, simple sugar syrup. In this case, we're using this lovely bark and root that is made here in the Cedar Rapids area. Ice. And we need bourbon. Right. And that's basically it. And I'm pretty sure someone mentioned that we're, we left this sit overnight, correct? Right. We put mint in the simple syrup overnight and let it infuse in the simple syrup. So we're going to start with the mint julep version of the mint julep. And, and, and what, what the recipe said was you put about 8 to 10 mint leaves wow. in the bottom. Okay. okay. Then you add simple sugar, and they suggested about three-fourths of an ounce. That goes in there. Just a little splash of the bourbon. Just right, a splash. Yeah. That's good. Now, while I'm doing this, you fill that glass, right. which we have had nice and frosty in the freezer. Yep, these uh, traditionally are supposed to be served with uh, chilled glasses, I believe, right? Right. Well, chilled silver cups, actually. And you're supposed to fill it with ice pretty much to the top, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this almost is kind of like a slushy in some ways. Well, you're using crushed ice and not shaved ice. Right. So, so yeah. So now we need to put three ounces of Old Forester in here. So there is one, two, three. Now, mix that around a bit. Now we pour that into the glass. So that's our first one with a nice Rig of mint right on top. Yeah. It's supposed to have a straw, but don't have a straw, so we're not going to use a straw. So now we'll do the traditional. The traditional recipe. I looked at a whole bunch of different recipes, and this seemed to be sort of the medium of the wine recipe. So what it did was you took about a half an ounce of simple sugar. You want to use this cup to mix it up? No, this one they say you mix in the glass. Really? Yeah. Wow. But then we put three or four mint leaves in the glass. Now the real straight bourbon, we just put a splash of that in there. And then again, we break it up so those oils and the peppermint come out. And then in this one, we use two and a half ounces of bourbon. Right. Wait, wait, gotta put the oh, right. ice in. Gotta put the ice in too. Yeah. One. Oh, I don't think we that can get two and a half. looks like it's almost full. Yeah, I think that we're done there. Yeah. We couldn't quite get two and a half in there. We got mint in there, we got mint in there, we got our ice, we got our drinks mixed. Do you want to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Let's try the one that we made first by hand. Nice. That's actually pretty nice. The next, we're going to try this one, which is the one what we made with or, uh, Old Forester's pre-mix. That's pretty good too. That is, that's pretty good as well. Um, it's very sweet though, very, very sweet. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of over the top sweet. I almost think that just straight with some ice, that actually is all my, might be all that you need, honestly. Uh, Pour some in there. I guess we're gonna try that. This is just straight Old Forester's Mint Julep. I would suggest with as much alcohol as this, if you're gonna be drinking these, probably wanna wait a while before you try. Yeah, probably. They are very strong. It's pretty good just straight. Yeah. It really is. Actually, um, between the three that we tried, that one's pretty good. Probably needs to be re-stirred again, though. Light. Refreshing. The mint is there. The bourbon is there. It 
it's really good. It's very well balanced, I yeah. would say. Yeah, this, this is the classic one. recipe. Really well balanced. Mixed up with this, I and think it's syrup. Yeah, I think it's a dessert drink. It's yeah, really it's sweet. Really, really, really sweet. If you like things really sweet, do their do their version of it because it is really over the top sweet and it's really good. Yeah, and tradition like without the simple syrup, the mint julep, old forester premix, it's actually kind of a nice in between. It's a nice in between, yeah. 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 I think I'm gonna go with the one we mixed, even though I am awful at mixing drinks. I, I like this because it's not over the top sweet. Yep. And it's really refreshing. Yeah. It's not over the top sweet. I would say that actually this straight without the syrup, extra syrup, without all the extra sweet stuff that kind of pushes it over the top, it's actually pretty tasty. Yeah. Um, if you are in kind of a rush it, on your way to the Derby, I guess, and you just want to... Uh, drink something really quick like without needing to mix it all up on your own this would probably be a good way to go that'd be a good way to go maybe even just keep it in your freezer so it's nice and cold right out of the bottle i actually really have enjoyed this stuff in the past we've uh, we've gone through a couple bottles i think yeah it's really kind of a nice change i usually don't like flavored whiskeys I, I i like my whiskey straight but the mint in this is really is really nice right yeah it's, it's not over the top, it's just there. There is some sweetness to it, and it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Old Forester did a good job. I think uh, this is pretty much the end, unless you had anything else you wanted to add. Um, again, if you're going to be drinking one of these at the Derby, you might want to wait a while before you get in the car and drive home. Yeah, yeah. they are incredibly strong. I know I'm feeling it already. All right, everyone. Well, this was definitely an adventure for us. We're not really familiar with mixing, but it was uh, it was a fun experiment. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. Also, share this video around if you really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.